Long story short, I'm a drummer. I'm good, but never hit the big time. COVID taught me to dream big. So it's time to upskill. I'm gonna check in with musician friends of mine to learn new skills that will make me a superstar. Or at least a better musician. I'm Joff, that's my dad Noffa, that's Nora. That's a cheap cake from the supermarket to celebrate our final episode. You're in the garage of possibilities. This is Soundtrack to Our Lives. Here at Soundtrack to Our Lives, we've been taking things for granted. I've chatted to a bunch of awesome artists that all collaborate and perform music using the same device. Their ears. But what if that's not possible? Here in the Garage of Possibilities, we're all about shifting perspective and celebrating the awesome. What is it like to create and perform music when you can't hear it? It's our final episode, so we've decided to go big. And I've got the perfect guest. Michelle Stevens is a deaf-blind musician from Gippsland. A classically trained pianist, Michelle collaborates with artists from all over Australia. She's brilliant and has graciously agreed to let me in on her unique process of collaboration. Whoa, whoa, stop the animation. It's time to get personal. I miss jamming with my friends. I miss the energy, I miss the connection. So why don't we two birds one stone it and get Michelle and I in the same room together, 2019 style. Luckily during lockdown, me and Dad perfected a teleporter. Ready to go, Noffa? Yeah! Hi, Michelle. Hi, Joff, how are you? I'm very good. And thank you for having us. And thank you for being in the Hall of Wonders. Welcome. I'm really excited to be here. Well, I'm a big fan of your piano playing. And I was wondering, what's it like experiencing music as a deaf blind musician? Okay. Very differently to how a sighted person um, experiences music. I use a cochlear implant and also a very strong hearing aid. However, um, matched in with that, I use a system called haptics. What are haptics? Okay, haptics is an all-round um, system that can give me sound information through vibration and also through tapping. So the timing is tapped on my shoulder or maybe the person wants me to play a little bit louder so they on my back they actually produce like a sign usually Geoff, in my case it's turning down the volume and when you're thinking about playing music how does your emotions play into it you're such a positive person for me particularly during these really really difficult times that we have lived in with COVID, etc. Music has been a very, very important part of my life. I actually um, have music that tells me a lot about my emotions. This is something really important to my mental well-being. I love that. And music is such a big part of my life. And as a big fan, I know you have your catchphrase, enjoyment with a capital E. How does that translate to playing music? It's really important to enjoy your music. You don't just sit there at the piano or your guitar or whatever you're playing and just play like you're practicing. You really need to enjoy it. And so, you know I've been really keen to play music with another musician. Do you think you'd be up for showing me how to collaborate and play some music together? Hey, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. So we've got our instruments together. What are some good things to think about when two musicians are about to collaborate? Most importantly is listen to each other. You can also feel the vibes as well. 
feeling vibrations is really, really important. So Michelle, can you show me how we could use haptics to have a jam? Yeah, cool. We can actually start jamming and I'll get the interpreter to tap on me if you want to play a little bit faster or a bit louder. How about we start with the bass line first? And now faster. How's that? That was great. So when we're jamming proper, how will I know when to end? Okay, how about if you nod to Emma and then Emma will tap me, then I'll finish. Thanks so much, Michelle, for showing us your awesome skills on the piano. So it's our last episode, it's time to go big. Are you ready to have a jam? Hey, yeah, let's go. to our lives. I want to thank Nopa, Nora, my mum Julesa, the amazing crew and all our awesome guests. Let's take it home Michelle!